But first, new video tonight shows escape killer Danilo Cavalcante back in custody, being escorted into a heavily armored car by law enforcement in Pennsylvania just hours ago, headed for the state prison as you hear cheers in the background. His capture today comes two weeks after he was on the run, escaping from the county prison, putting an entire region on edge. Tonight, his questions remain about how he escaped in the first place from a prison where another inmate had bolted just months prior. Stephanie Stahl has a closer look at how investigators were finally able to zero in on him. Subject is in custody. State police in Pennsylvania finally nabbed escaped inmate Danilo Cavalcanti, seen here in handcuffs and in a damp Eagle sweatshirt, as officers led him to a waiting SWAT vehicle Wednesday morning. Our nightmare is finally over and the good guys won. The break came around midnight when a burglar alarm went off within the police perimeter in Chester County. Officials didn't find Cavalcanti, but began to zero in on an area where aircraft picked up a heat source with a thermal imaging camera. We had confidence it was going to be Cavalcanti. However, uh, over the course of the past 14 days, we've had confidence of other times where we thought we were going to apprehend him. Around 8 a.m., tactical teams made their move. They were able to move in very quietly. They had the element of surprise. Cavalcanti did not realize he was surrounded until that had occurred. Police say Cavalcanti began to crawl through thick underbrush, taking his rifle with him. A police dog finally subdued the suspect. I'm grateful to the public for their vigilance. And I thank God that no one was injured uh, in this capture. Cavalcanti broke out of the Chester County Prison two weeks ago, crab walking up the walls. His time on the lam included stealing and ditching a van, swiping a 22 caliber rifle from a garage, and putting the entire area on alert. We are so relieved. I can't even tell you. East Nat Mills is a quiet place that's remained untouched. And I'm glad he's out of it. Authorities say Cavalcanti will be returned to full justice, serving a life sentence for the murder of his ex-girlfriend in front of her two children. And county officials said that security upgrades had been made to that facility where that prior escape had also happened, but that security contractors are now further reviewing the procedures there.